Hey guys, it's Quickly again with another ROM review and this time I've got the official Tesla N for the OnePlus 3, so stay tuned for that. So guys, the Tesla N. Now, I previously did review a uh, Tesla N ROM uh, which was an official, well, I didn't really know that it was an official at the time, but the developer for Ground Zero ROMs, which is the creator of Tesla N, uh, did contact me and uh, did explain that that is not the official version. Uh, that was an unofficial version which is available. So, yeah, that is there. Now we have the official version for the OnePlus 3, which is the Tesla N uh, 7.0. So that is based on the latest NuGet, which is not the latest NuGet. Still, it is 7.0. So yeah, that is there. So let's me let, let's get started on that. Uh, in the settings menu, in the about phone page, you can say this is Tesla N, and it is Android 7.0. So you will get all the good stuff which is available with 7.0. And it is on the October 5 patches, so that is the latest uh, batch of patches available for this one, so that is also pretty cool. This is using a custom kernel by these guys, so that is intoxicated and all that. Build days, it's 22nd October, so that is kind of a few days back when I'm uh, getting this ROM, but uh, it's still amazing and uh, it's really fast. Uh, this is actually the beta version 3 official of course so it is still in beta you did you do need to understand that this ROM is still in beta and uh, most of the other NuGet ROMs is also still in beta so you do have to take that in mind let's get to the other stuff now first of all uh, you do have almost all the options which is available with uh, NuGet ROMs now something which I really didn't understand previously but uh, NuGet really has this feature where I have my hotspot on and it does show me in the uh, settings menu as a highlight so that is also really cool and the ls slider is working and if you have ls slider on uh, on uh, silent it will also show that the alert is on silent so that's also pretty cool to have most of the things here are working and there are a few things which i feel is uh, much more improved than other no get wrong so i will be getting that getting to that in the uh, coming time so yeah let's get started now in the wi-fi settings you do have enable wi-fi and you can actually use wi-fi and all that data usage is available you can customize the, the data usage for that in the uh, cell network this was another problem in the cell network and android access point is uh, two times and that is not being changed there is still two times so just so you guys know that is still there uh, so the networks all of that is working NFC is working I was able to pair it with my headset that's also pretty cool in the extra options is where you will find all the extra stuff so you do have expanded desktop so expanded desktop if you know what it is it is working uh, power menu options are available where you can customize whatever appears on the power menu in the lock screen settings you do have weather and that is really amazing I really use the uh, c-clock weather option and that does work pretty nicely you do have this uh, display visual mu uh, music visualizers so that's also really nice to see in the status bar option you can see that i have customized a bit in the clock settings you can have left with a pm indicator that's something which i've been really fond of lately and i am using that you can also enable the date option which if you have a center clock that would be pretty better uh, battery now battery is uh, the style of battery is something you can customize. It does have always show battery if you have expanded desktop never show battery also is available um, You do have percentage overview overlay, which is not something I'm able to get enabled. So yeah Charging indicator now in the previous Nokia ROM which I reviewed or which I've tested the charging indicator does not come on I mean the uh, flashing lightning symbol does not come on but in this one it is really cool uh, color can be changed while charging to color uh, in any color which you want you can keep it red you can do whatever you want in the gig setting panel you do have brightness slider and brightness icon but the brightness icon does not really work so there's that you can just uh, you can actually disable the brightness slider if you don't want that advanced data tile is available and you can customize the layout of it now i have got uh, eight columns per row uh, that is eight columns in one page so you can actually have that rows it's a bit limited there's only three lo three rows you can also keep one row if you are crazy and if you not need that so that's also pretty cool uh, three is the maximum right now columns can be customized to six even so you can have a lot of customized uh, icons there in the quick setting panel 
quick pull down is available but i would have uh, actually liked to have the smart pull down option rather than the quick pull down option because i i do use my uh, phone with my right hand and i do kind of always pull down the notification with this one so smart pull down would have been a better option in my opinion there's also tiles animation stuff which you can customize here and that is available in the traffic density uh, traffic indicators you do have traffic indicators you can customize all of this and it does work out pretty nicely notification option you can actually enable the show notification count so that will uh, give you a number of notifications in the status box so that's also cool disable immersive mode messages and force expand notifications also available in the navigation option you do have navigation bar enabler you can enable navigation bar with fling settings which is uh, pretty much amazing i really like this approach where you have fling and you have the hardware button so it gives you more option to enable in all of these options or all of these uh shortcuts can be customized to whatever you need so that is also really cool to have in the button settings you do have customization for all of this like the uh the volume uh the volume rocker can be customized with a playback control and uh sadly there's no option for a keyboard cursor control which i would have liked to have in the hardware keys you can customize both of these keys which is the home home key and the menu button so you can customize to whatever you need i mean you have options it's not whatever you need there's no um application enabler so yeah you have to live with that and in the multitasking option there is nothing because it is still under construction so you do need to understand that and that is one of the limitations which these guys have now in the other stuff uh, almost everything is basically what you would expect out of any other uh, nogat based cm rom so you do have dashboard suggestion remove tasks you can actually enable or disable these and that is pretty amazing uh, font size and display size is available and i really appreciate that now something in the display size is that this is the default display size and in the normal android version this is the default size so that is a different and that's just a dpi setting which you can customize so there is another option called lights which uh, normally is inside uh, uh display options but there is another option where you can customize the lights of it and you can customize what all lights are occurring and all that notification light can also be customized for uh notification lights and you can add any custom applications through this one for to use the notification light so that's also pretty cool the battery life let me just talk to you about battery life the battery life is what i would expect out of a nougat rom which is pretty amazing i have been having great luck using the battery for the full day uh with the nougat roms and that had been really cool so let me just show you guys the screen all time that is right now it is 5 12 so this is about uh, half of my day i mean yeah three quarters of my day and uh it's already three three and a half hours so it can easily make five hours of screen on time so that is something which i really appreciate in this one now it does have one plus dose option where you can enable the pickup hand move and pocket mode if you can have that and the pocket mode here is not uh does not cover the fingerprint scanner so just so you guys know that is still a limitation it does have the screen of gestures and this is the usb version of the screen of gestures i guess usb version so you do have more options here where the circle arrow right arrow left arrow down and double finger swipe is also available so you can customize whatever happens even a custom applications for all these gestures so that is pretty nice to see now notification slider is working and uh, something uh, something else which i want to notify is that the spy buttons right now is enabled because i want this as the uh, reason button and this as the uh, back button uh, out of the box it's not that way out of the box this is the reason button this is the back button so yeah just so you guys know i had to do that rest everything is basically what you would expect out of any other nougat rom i had to flash the super zoo it does not come with super zoo not even the cyanogen mod super zoo so just so you guys know that is still a thing so yeah that is it in this option um i've been using this as my daily driver for a day now and uh, the entry to benchmark score is again what you would expect out of a nougat rom it's about 155 154 or 253 000 i don't remember right now but that is normally what you would expect out of any nougat rom it is on the higher side than any uh omni based or uh oxygen os based rom but it's still um i guess needs a little bit polish so yeah let me show you guys the boot animation which is pretty cool so here is the boot animation for the tesla n that is a pretty cool boot animation to be exactly fine uh it's really cool and it is by the ground zero rom so you do get that assurance that this is by one of the best 
ROM developers out there. Now, it does have a few extra apps which you might be familiar with if you have used Ground Zero ROMs like the uh, Ground Zero kernel editor which is just a skinned version of the Ground Zero option so that is also available. Something which I want to talk about in this is that the, uh, the notification error which was found in other NoGap ROMs is fixed now so you will get the full notifications uh, stuff on this one. Let me just show you guys. I mean, I haven't opened this. Uh, so as you can see, the uh, notification uh, for privacy management is now fixed. It doesn't just go uh, and uh, elongate like all the others, uh, which will uh, make you not be able to click these. So that is available, and that is something which I really appreciate in this ROM. It does work out, and uh, that is something which I was hoping to be fixed sooner than later. So it's fixed now. So I guess that much is it about the ROM. Again. Uh, as a conclusion, this is a NoGAT ROM, so you are going to accept the fair share of problems with NoGAT, NoGAT ROMs have, which includes the camera having a sub, kind of an inferior uh, op option or inferior camera facility, at least the stock camera is just not something you want to use, with. at least with flash, it just doesn't work. But uh, footage camera is working and that does work out pretty nicely uh, let me just take a photo for you and yeah the footage camera does take a photo with the flash so that does really work out pretty nicely but it is kind of a hit or miss option so yeah that does have a certain bit of uncertainty to it so yeah i guess how much is it about the rom hope you guys like the video please share subscribe and like the video if you found it useful see you guys next time bye